Hey, 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 welcome back. You know that with Elementor Pro, you can use their theme builders templates to build a header or a footer across your website. But what if you haven't got Elementor Pro? You got Elementor Free. Well, if you've got like Hello, um, you can do it using a inbuilt feature for header and footer. Astra, Ocean, all of these themes have it within there. But what if you don't want to do that? Because you are going to be slightly limited but you want to build a full-blown Elemental header and footer. Well, the dead dead simple way to do this with Elemental Free is the Elemental header and footer builder. It used to be known as Blocks as well at the end of it. This plugin built by Brainstorm Force, okay? Over 1 million um, active installations. This is massively good for Elemental Free users. Install and activate, it is free. Now, I'm not going to go through creating a header. Shall I go through creating a header? Maybe not. But the basis of this video is how do I make that sticky? Because in Elementor Pro, there is a feature, once you've built your header, you can make it sticky to the top or sticky to the bottom. So it's always gonna be there at the top of your website or the bottom of your website, depending on how you wanna build it. But how do you do that with Elementor Free, which is what we've got on this test website, and with that particular plugin? Let's have a look at it. I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, and follow to keep up to date with Elementor and WordPress to help you, your clients, and of course, your business. If you go over to appearance when you're in WordPress dashboard, you're gonna see an option in appearance called Elemental Header and Footer Builder. It is almost in effect like what you would do with Elemental Pro. Of course, Elemental Pro, so much more features. You wanna do, go for it, believe me, you wanna get it. So, we, so we're now in here and we're gonna create a template. I'm just gonna create a header. And I'm going to say that this template is displayed on the entire website for now. OK, we could add an exclusion rule or a display rule where we might say this is only present on pages X, Y, Z. This is only present on the shop page. This is only present on the contact page. So you could have three headers, one for your home or landing page, another one for every other page. So you create a header and you exclude it from the home page because it might be that you want a really big header, bold and whatever for your landing page. Every other page, you want it to be nice and succinct. It might be a slightly different style, yeah? So you can use your imagination there. Uh, user roles, we're just going to say, you know, it's on all. It's, it's, this is not just for logged in people, okay? Right, so let's now do that, and we're just going to click, um, we're going to click publish. Great. What we're now going to do is edit with Elemental. Now we're just going to create it, okay? And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. It's just going to be two columns. And I'm going to make this be a background style of, we'll go for a blue color just because I'm going to annoy everyone here. We'll stick in a header over here with some red text. Why not? No, let's go for white text. I know you're all going to hate me. Gray text. And let's just add in a image as well, like so. So let's just add in a fake image. Um, Oh yes, this website I reset a while ago for something else. That's why there's hardly any images in here. So if I just go for style, let's just go for 100 pixels. Okay, 100 pixels width and all that. And we'll just make it left and right. That is a totally horrendous, disgusting header I've ever created in my life. But just go with it, okay? You can go through the motions of setting it up with your section deciding if it's top, middle, bottom in terms of the vertical alignment and however you're going to do it, you know, uh, minimum height, we'll just do that. You know, you can decide how you're going to make it look. Right. The key, key thing is how do we make this be a sticky header? Right. Let's just hit update for a moment. Normally, if you do this in Elemental Pro, when you hit update or publish, that's when you then decide on the conditions. Where is it displayed? What are the exclusions? With this plugin, you do it at the start, but you can go back into appearance, uh, elemental, header, footer, whatever it was, go in and adjust your settings or your display conditions there as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our section, go to advanced, and in the CSS ID for the section, not the columns, not for the items within, for the section, I'm going to call this sticky, sticky me. You would give it another name. I mean, let's just go for sticky underscore me. All right, pick a proper word, put sticky header, something like that. I'm just doing that on purpose so you can see that you can be a bit creative in what you do. Right, so sticky me. We then go to custom CSS. Now, if you've got free Elementor, 
okay? You're not going to have the custom CSS option there for you. So what you've now got to do is add it somewhere else. So let me just click update for a moment. So we've got that name, you know, uh, named for the section. If we go back to WordPress, we go to appearance, you go to customize. Now, regardless of whether you're using hello or whatever, you will have the option for additional CSS. We go to additional CSS, okay, and I'm gonna add in a little bit of code here. Now, this other code that you see here, you don't need to worry about that. That's from a previous video about editing text, but ignore that. And we're gonna just make sure this is referring to sticky underscore me, right? So sticky me, elemental section, position is fixed, left is zero, width is 100%. So basically, that is just basically saying it is fixed and it's gonna be right at the top, okay? I'm gonna hit publish. So now we're viewing the page. I mean, you could do preview or however you want to do it. Ignore the content within it. It's used for another video, which we were covering uh, global fonts and colors and typography. You must, must watch it. But look at what we've got here, right? Elemental free. We put the code in the custom CSS bit again, free. Okay, and look what happens now when I scroll up and down. I mean, this is not going to scroll a massive amount because there's not a huge amount of content, but look, the content is disappearing behind the header. Now, one thing you will have to bear in mind though, any other content that you have on this page is probably going to go and sit now behind the sticky header. So you've got to bear in mind that if you have, if your particular header was say 150 pixels in height, you want to make sure that any content you have on the page is also 150 pixels away from the top. Let me just quickly show you what I mean by that. If I edit this page, now if at the very first section of the page I put 50 for the margin, the header also came down. And you just got to understand, right, because we are doing this differently. In Elemental Pro, it's a little bit easier. But what you would do is, rather than touching the margin like so, you would actually touch the padding. So if I do 150, let's just shrink it down to be about, I don't know, let's just go with 100, okay? And I now hit Update. Just make sure that every page you've got, you've got some padding or something in there just to make sure it doesn't kind of go directly, well, it's not being overlapped by the, the header in effect, okay? If we now preview that, dun 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 dun, as we scroll up and down now, the header is stuck to the top. So if you've got a menu or social sharing icons or whatever you wanna put at the top, this is a way of how you can do it for free. Okay, but like I said, Elemental Pro all the way, baby, but if you wanna do it for free, this is the code you use. And the code for this is gonna be in the descriptions, so you can't miss it. Look, I hope that helps, I hope you like, I hope you subscribe. And I shall see you soon.